All right, it's time for our pick six. It's sponsored by Davidson's See, Liquor. See, I like Soupy Sales. This kind of reminds me of Soupy Sales when he was doing his show. <laughs> Destiny, can I ask a favor? Would you bring me one of the uh, the six packs, please? Oh, oh, I can do that. Okay, I didn't want you to get up, Wood. You don't have to get up, Wood. Oh. Thank you, Destiny. I want to show everybody the pick six. You can build your own six pack at Davidson's Liquors. Do that. Go into their. Uh, into their cases and pull out any of their 50 craft beers that they've got in those cases and make your own six pack. These are all six different beers. You can do that at Davidson's. <laughs> uh, our top, you know what our topic is? I'm already, you, I'm already, I'm already liking this. You've I'm wanted to this. do, you've wanted to do this topic for a long time now. All right, so we're going to get it out of the way. The Broncos have a bunch of free agents, unrestricted free yeah, agents. I've been wanting to do this for six months, and a lot of big name, for a couple of days, and a lot of big name players. Okay, so give me. The top six unrestricted free agents that the Broncos absolutely should bring back to the fold. Here we go, guys. <laughs> Number one, Demarius Thomas. DT is one of the three, four best wide receivers in the game. Got to be. Terrence Knighton. I want pot roast in my three, four defense. I want pot roast with potatoes on either side, carrots on <laughs> right behind them. But I, I really want gravy. him back. Maybe Demarius little... Thomas is, is, is an all-pro, he, he, and, and he wants to come back. Give him the money. Let him come back. They have, uh, did I tell you, they have $26 million in cap space. I did research on this. And with, uh, with the addition of the more, uh, more money coming in Higher year, salary cap? Yeah, because they're going to have more. There will be 6 to $10 million more in the salary yeah, cap. So $30 million that they got to play with. I would concentrate on these guys first. Some of these guys. Yeah. Demaris Thomas, I think that's logical. There by Terrence Knighton, and people are saying, well, he's not the guy, right guy. Yeah, he is. He's got, How is he not the right guy? I don't, I don't get that. I, don't, I keep hearing that, people. Yeah, I don't, I don't get understand. that. Will Montgomery, I know you don't think as highly of him as I do, but no, 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 he's I his do. own block. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. I misunderstood. Forgive me. Will Montgomery played successfully. The reason why the Broncos signed him was he played for Shanahan, you know this, yeah. in Washington and was a good, very good center. And Shanahan gave the Broncos a good recommendation on him. Yeah, right. Yeah. Jesus Thomas. Oh, oh, two, two minute, minute warning. warning. Oh, well I better shut up because you that only give you two minutes. Jesus <laughs> Thomas, I think you I think a healthy Jesus Thomas is really great for this club. And I think you can get why'd it go off? Oh, thank you. Jesus Thomas, I, 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 even though he wasn't really nice to me on the plane coming back, I mean, he didn't come over and say, I'll buy you a drink or anything. Raheem Moore, I like him. I like him. He's not great, but he, The Broncos I think actually like keep him. telling us that he does a good job. Yeah. Every time you talk to him about Raheem so Moore, they I, tell us that. I would sign that. all those five, and you, you're going to say, what about Tony Carter? Actually, why, I wasn't going to say that. Why <laughs> would you want to care about Tony Carter? My... One of my two closest <coughs> friends is named Tony Carter, and I told him I'd get him on TV. <laughs> <laughs> so when, he, when Josh like, asked me about it, go, I, said, I said, there you go, TC. how many do I have? He said, five. I said, put Tony Carter up there, because he has <laughs> always wanted to be on my show. All right, my six are, are a little bit different Everybody than yours. Everybody thinks, are you the Tony Carter that plays for the Broncos? And he went, do I look All right, my six. Time? I think because they're going to a 3-4, and because Terrence Knighton is the size he is, and because he did have a Pro Bowl caliber season, he might not be... You might. I think one of the reasons people won't mind if he leaves is because they believe he's better in a four-three than than the nose tackle in a three-four. No. Disagree. He's a hell of a player. I don't care if it's in he, a three-four or four-three. Like he can line over. Right. He does it right. now. He lines up on both sides so, of the center. So I think I think now that they're going to a three-four, it's essential they keep him. Demarius Thomas, for all the same reasons as you, is one of the best wide receivers in the game. Virgil Green. You know, we laughed at the beginning of the season when they told us when Virgil Green got hurt how important he was to the offense and to the running game, I think we found out. He's really important. Plus, he's got decent hands. So it's important to bring Virgil Green back for the running game, if nothing else. Julius Thomas, look, if they do not bring back Jacob Tammy, then what are they left with? They're left with Virgil Green, who's not seen as a pass-catching tight end, and nothing else. Julius Thomas, they need. He and Peyton Manning, when Julius is, is healthy, that's a hell of a combination. And they need a pass-catching tight end yeah. in this offense. Uh, Will Montgomery, I liked him. Benjamin, yesterday, didn't care for him. He did a great job at center this year. So bring him back. I mean, you don't want to have to revamp that whole offensive line again. And then Nate Irving, not because Nate Irving is a great player, but because 
they have a problem keeping their linebackers healthy. Danny Trevathan and Brandon Marshall Do you were think not that's healthy. A franchise thing. We're not healthy. Um, Nate Irving lost some time also last year, but you can't just you can't rely on all these linebackers to stay healthy. So bring back Nate Irving. He knows the system. He would have been number six on my list. Yeah, and I, and I think it's important <coughs> they keep as many linebackers as they can simply because they've had trouble keeping them on the field. That's going to wrap it up for Those us are today. my six. Davidson Slickers uh, yeah. supports the uh, six-pack every day, our pick six, and that's our pick six.